but we don't use clues here because we're not scrubs, right, guys? Well, it's not. It's okay. If you need clues, you can use clues. I just didn't. And honestly, if I used clues, I probably would have gotten through that a lot faster. But let's not worry about that. Let's enjoy the seagulls. Be gone! Seagulls? Damn, these are some bold-ass seagulls. They just don't care at all. Whoa, this is a big area! I'm gonna walk over here. Why do I need to talk to that man when I can go look at newspaper? And seagull. Hi, seagull. <gasps> Newspaper. All these tourists, these shops must be thriving. Yeah. Ginger Cat Restaurant. Hmm. Arcy, have you ever been to Bexhill? I don't, you know what? I don't know where anything is. <laughs> I only know that you're kind of closest to Manchester. Oh, hi, Lig and Kevlad. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome. How are you guys doing? Oh, there's a dead woman there. I guess I should probably. Hastings appears to be ill at ease. I should probably talk to the to be other man. Indifferent Mrs. Asher's murder, but a young woman's murder seems to be troubling him greatly. Yeah, welcome on in. Thank you so much for the raid. I am Chaos Hand. I play. A large... I really should have, like, a screen that I switch to when people raid. Um, but right now my camera is only set up for this... Because I have my desk set up, and then I'm in the living room. But I'm Chaos Hand, and I play a lot of different things. Like, I'm playing Agatha Christie's ABC Murders on Switch today, and tomorrow I'll be trying not to kill myself playing Skyward Sword. And yesterday... Um, I played Steam World Build and also the Pokemon Violet DLC. It's all over the place, but welcome. I hope that you had a good stream. How do you do, gentlemen? Chief Inspector? I was asking if you've ever been to Bexhill. Again, Poirot. We haven't yet identified the victim, but it's a young woman, 20 to 25. Oh, she's way younger than the other chick who was 50. I'm doing great, thank you. And we found it's been a pretty good day today. Nice and chill. Was she pretty? Come on, Poirot, that's rather out of place. It has no <laughs> bearing on the murder. Poirot, come on, man. Are you certain? For a woman, it is often the most important thing. It often decides her destiny. Oh, was that right? The body hasn't been moved. You can see for yourself. Okay. Has the press been informed? Not yet, yeah. but so thank I'm coming you. to. I haven't yet informed them about the presence of the ABC guide in Andover. Nobody has reported a young woman missing. Not for the moment. No witnesses, I imagine. Indeed. We've asked everybody who may have met a young woman fitting her description last night to come and see us, but I have little hope of gaining anything from it. It's early days, Chief Inspector, and the news may not have spread around the town yet. I hope you're right, Hastings. Okay. Oh, you know what? That's like the one thing I didn't do. Even though I took like a short break after chapter one, I, uh, and I filled my dishwasher, I didn't actually stretch, which is important. Blood flow is important, especially if you're sitting for a long time. I mean, I don't even know how long that first part took. Oh, God. I think it only took like an hour-ish. Thank you for that. All right, let's go take a look at this young lady. Oh. Um. How do- Oh, whoa! It, okay, well, damn. What? Well, I guess she was on the beach. So she's not wearing any shoes. She definitely got very strangled. And then you get up and face plant. Yeah, true. That's why, like, sitting on the couch, I tend to have better, like, circulation than sitting in my office chair like my office chair is not bad but no matter what if you sit in an office chair for long enough eventually your butt and legs are gonna fall asleep like that just kind of is what happens at least on the couch there's enough like cushioning that that generally doesn't happen but yeah i wonder if it's gonna be in the bees the bexhill open as the page for the bexhill train times yeah Oh, sorry about your neck. Strange that chap didn't notice it. Yeah, I mean, she does look pretty hot. She's got, uh, well, I can't tell if her lips are purple because she was strangled or because she's wearing lipstick. Maybe both. 
but this key is too small to be one for a house without a doubt it is for a padlock oh yeah i forgot keys were like giant okay the young woman wasn't wearing shoes or a coat and was not carrying a bag yeah that is a little weird strange either the murderer stole her belongings or she put them somewhere safe maybe so that she could bath da, 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 da. a braided silk belt it may have belonged to the victim <laughs> Okay, so oh seven? What oh Apart pan? from the marks on her neck, there are no signs of the struggle. Yeah. She didn't manage to hit her assailant. Okay. What about okay, so we already looked at key. Uh we looked at her feet. Um Oh, now oh I guess we hadn't looked at her neck. Been left by a rope or a breaded cloth. Well there is that that's Let us now try and yeah. get how brand cells to work. I don't know, that looks like this is the culprit. Loop of rope. Um, how is the victim killed? Strangulation. Uh, her being pretty has nothing to do with it. Victim was strangled by a surprise with her own belt. That sucks. God, just because this guy wants to prove the a point. Child must have been strangled with his bread belt. Unfortunately, in view of the fabric, it is unlikely that we will find any prints. Yeah. Let us yeah. now try and get our brand cells to work. Okay. What are the common points between the Andover murder and the one in back cell? The ABC guide. Press doesn't. Oh. Oh, wait. It's probably just the. Yeah, yeah. Just the ABC guide. There were only two. I thought there were more for some reason. Killer signs his crimes with an ABC guide. Which is huge. The work of the same murderer? Yes, they are! Wait, why is that one? Is it that one? Two murders were premeditated and were carried out by the same person. Oh, okay. Well, I thought it would be the letter because we confirmed that the letters were made on the same typewriter, so probably the same guy. The victim was strangled with her own belt. Wait for chapter three, I guess, I if you want more guides, yeah. She shows the usual signs of strangulation. With a little luck, we'll find prints this time. You Yay! Too optimistic, Hastings. Our killer is far too meticulous for that. Well, maybe he messed up, man. Actually, you need to look while you do some. Yeah, no, no problem. You do your thing. I understand completely. Usually, as soon as I end stream, I'm like, I gotta go to the bathroom and eat and do everything that I've been not doing for the past few hours. So you go do your thing. Thank you so much for the raid once again and the lurk. Yeah. That reminds me, has anybody gotten like a, has anybody gotten a phone book recently? I remember you, you get phone books all the goddamn time. I mean, maybe it's cause I live in an apartment now. They just don't, but I feel like even when I was living at like a friend's house, they still got phone books at least like once or twice a year. And I'm like, but nobody really, all of that information is just like out there now. Hastings appears to it's be been a year. Yeah, uh, okay, yeah. It just seems like a waste of paper at this murder, point, you know? But a young woman's murder seems to be troubling him greatly. Well, yeah, I mean, I'd be troubled greatly by dead young I ladies. This case is far from being solved. Come on, Poirot, you'll find the killer. Yeah, exactly. Like everybody's out there on some how list. Many times will he kill before I do? Uh, oh yeah. let me check something. Oh yeah, we've only been you haven't been alive for that. Like, so yeah, this game is really not that, that first chapter. Well, it was the first chapter. It's probably like the prologue of the first game, which was like this is nothing, and then I'm like, oh god, this game is actually quite long. Um, what can I look at? Maybe I can. Wait, did I see a thing? No. Oh, what's this? Observation point. Bexil seems to be a pleasant little town. Yeah, look, there's, um, changing modern bungalow. Is that a bungalow? I thought a bungalow would, wait, are those like little houses? Oh, they are. Okay. I don't know why I thought, I thought they were changing areas because a bungalow is like a little housey thing. 
Victorian house? Yeah, look at this. This place is fancy. Um, what's the third thing? Beach? Water? Bird? Bird D. Seafront. Yeah, this is... This would cost you, like, a lot of money now. Bexhill is a pretty little seaside resort with elegant architecture. Although, personally, I prefer more modern buildings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, good for you, Poirot. Some people like the sea. Just gonna go. I wish there was, like, a run button. But I feel like Poirot is not a man to run for any reason. Can I go inside the ginger cat restaurant? A few more details I wish to clarify ah, okay. before visiting the ginger cat. Not quite. I gotta clarify details. With all these tourists, this Okay, because he already... Yeah, he looked at that. Some manholes. Where? Hmm. Maybe I should check the beach. Maybe there's something else on the beach I'm missing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sand is no good for my ankles, guys. Oh, maybe I should check the bungalows. Maybe maybe she was at one of these. Yeah, there is a crab. Unfortunately, I can't do anything with the crab. <gasps> the hut is locked. Which, I have the hut key, though. The key does not fit the lock. Okay. It's one, it, she was at one of these bungalows. Bunga? The key does not fit the lock. Bung bunga? The key does not fit the lock. <sighs> it's a process of elimination. Um, only two more bungalows. I wonder if it's like the closest one to the screen. Oh! Wait. Why is it flashing? Am I not close enough? Oh, because I'm not using... Wait, no. That's the... I'm using the use button. Am I not... Oh, 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 wait. Oh, oh. What? Thinking. Nine? Okay, um... Key. A dual locking padlock. I need to find the code and then insert a key. Oh god, why? Why? Just put the key in. Okay, um, small key. Oh! It's too small. I bet it probably says... N oh! It's actually six. It's not nine. But then why am I at door nine? Oops. So if this is nine... Oh! It's not nine. It is door six. It's missing a screw. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want to quit the puzzle. I want to interact with. Uh, can I put the. I put the key. Okay, okay, now we're. No, I don't want to observe the key. I already know that. Oh, let me touch it. This way. What? Um. Oh, I have to move it that way. Ooh, 715. Okay. Uh, oop, wrong button. Observe. Oh, God. Okay, the controls are a little weird with this. Okay, there we go. Interact. Interact. Ugh. Seven. One. Five. Now use key. Aha! I'm in! The bungalow! Okay, there we go. Oh, I gotta slide. 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 <gasps> Open the bungalow! Oh, there's her stuff! Purse. Shawl. Picture? Ah. Betty's first day at work. 
Mom is very proud of you. Aww. Elizabeth Barnard. Okay, so I think her name August, is Betty. 1931. So, the young lady did have a name starting with B. Yeah, and in the restaurant, the ginger cat. Ginger ha ha ha. An establishment that must be slightly further along the beach. Yeah, I, w I tried to go in there, and you were all like, no, no, no. I've got observing to do. The purse is full. Yet again, we can dismiss theft as the motives for the murder. No, the murder is just because the guy's Here is the a watch jerk. She must have removed to prevent it from getting wet. <gasps> What's on the watch? A top brand lipstick. She liked to take care of her appearance. Okay, is it purple though, or is that just because she dead? Photo of the victim with some company. It could be useful to me. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in there. Okay. It definitely was here that the victim left her belongings. Yep. Okay, because, yeah, her shoes. Back it up. Jap has gone to the police. The victim has been identified and her family had reported her disappearance. She was called... Betty. Elizabeth Barnard, oh, Elizabeth. Betty. She worked as a ginger cat at the cafe slightly further along the beach. But Poirot, how on earth? Oh, because I'm smart, bro. Never mind. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Address? I just know things. Yes, she lived with her parents on the street leading to the beach, number twenty-two. Shall we go? You wow, she was lived instinct. really close. Let the poor people take in the news first. Let us go and visit the cafe where Betty worked. Yeah, look at Poirot being mindful. Let them mourn for at least five minutes, then we'll intrude upon their lives. Betty Bernard. Waitress at the Ginger Cat. 23 years old. 23 years old. Aw. Oh. oh, we still have friends. Asher. About 60. Not good in a fight. Off we go. Watch your ankles. I know you hate walking in the sand. It messes with your shoes. We'll have to wax them later. Yeah, there's the crab. I wish I could catch the crab. This game would be a 10 out of 10 if I could just catch that crab. But no, got to follow this old man with thinning, receding hairline, according to Poirot. Okay, into the cat we go. I have it first. Exactly. God, I haven't had crab in so long. Oh, now I want crab. I'll One day. I'll be with you in a minute, gentlemen. Da -da. Okay, well, actually, I'm here about the murder. Ooh, what's this? Excuse me, I'm gonna check this jukebox. Yeah, old music. Watch me get a freaking copyright on YouTube for this. I don't have any cha- How do you not have cha oh, I guess he just doesn't have money. Observe her. She looks a little nervous. Something tells me that she's the owner of the ginger cat. She's not a ginger cat, though. Oh, she- Strict appearance? Oh, no, she's a woman of God. Behind the counter. Ginger hair? Red hair! <gasps> she's the ginger cat! This woman must be the owner of the ginger cat. It looks like something is bothering her. Maybe her dead waitress? <laughs> How can I help you? A hot chocolate and a tea for my friend, please. I'll bring it straight away. But I also want you to hot chai. Tea for my friend, please. Don't worry. The tea will keep your hairline from receding any further. Okay. Fruit! Mirror! Oh, of course. It's time to must- Look at- mm, Hey, mm, yes, mm, 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 looking good. Give me those ego points. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, good tea. Oh, can I look at stuff while she's preparing? I need to know the time range during which Betty was working on her own. <sighs> Thinking. Okay. Millie, Miss Mary on Betty, 11 a.m. to 7.30. 24th of July. That's my birthday. These are the different waiting staff's bills. Which ones were written by Betty? Oh, I bet I have to look at the handwriting. 
Her handwriting is very long and flowy. That one's teeny weeny. Two are teeny weeny. That one's long, but not it's it's spaced out different. Betty. Hmm. Okay. Table. Uh hour. I, I think that's Betty. Cause the other one is like a bit more rough looking. Yeah, 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 okay. Look for the very dainty print. Betty. I should consult the register first. What do you mean I can I, I, I get consult the register? I guess I gotta look at it first. This is Betty handwriting. Where is Betty? This is Betty. Betty worked from 11 a.m. to 7.30 p.m. Would she have been alone at any time during her service? Maybe. Let's let's check it out. Oh wait, would she have been alone? Seven thirty. Yeah, after after five p.m. Interesting. Betty was alone between two and a half, five, 5 p.m. and seven thirty p.m. Who did she serve? I don't know. The guy that I pointed at before until you rudely interrupted. You're like, look at that. It was this one. This Th bill may have been written by Betty. There is probably another one. Okay, just try another one. Our um got that D. I bet it's this one. Six thirty. Most probably a family. No, something's not right. Betty was alone at just one of these two times. Oh, six thirty. Duh, I'm dumb. Okay, that, not the five. That, that one? Most probably a family. Okay. This bill may have been read. Okay, another one. Now, uh, 1 p.m. Hour 5. 720. Maybe it's these. Most probably a single man. A Maybe the murderer? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I just. A <laughs> and a man on his own. A whiskey drinker. Maybe he's a murderer. This information will help me to progress. Yes, information! Betty! What? Gentlemen, what are you doing? Nothing! We are searching for clues, mademoiselle. Oh, I should have said I'm a detective man. And this is Captain Essings. Sorry, slipped my mind. That is correct. She should have been here a while ago. Punctuality is the first rule of politeness. I fear that Miss Bernard will not be coming today. She has just been found dead on the beach a few hundred meters from the cafe. Yeah. How awful. Poor young thing. What happened? Oh, she got strangulated. She appears to have been murdered. This is most distressing. How this will affect my business, I shudder to think. Oh, well, that's what you're worried about, I see. <laughs> got it. On the contrary, it's an advert for the town. Do not be so sure. Miss Barnard's tragic death may be a good advertisement for you. It makes one despair of human nature. Poor young girl. She was a hard-working and pleasant young woman. I didn't know her that well. She'd only been here for two summers. I know that she had a young man. He used to call for her sometimes. Oh, what's wrong with that? Uh, after the man, the photo is her gentleman friend. This photo was found. Is this him? Yes, that's him, all right. But I haven't seen him for some time. Why are you preoccupied, ma'am? Um, what? Uh, say that young people have no longer have morals. Okay, do that. I'm gonna work towards. We're gonna we're gonna work towards her more Catholic side. I find young people today very hard to understand. You needn't tell me that. Yep, I knew it. A few weeks ago, they argued just outside the cafe. Imagine what my customers must have thought. Uh-huh. Ask why they are you sympathized by the... Yeah, respectable I establishment. I you that it was an isolated incident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It must be difficult to keep... Remember, you have to play towards their sensitivities. show themselves to be so shameless. The young man only made a scene the once. Jealousy, no doubt. It must be said the young girl was very. Oh, yeah, she is. Even Thank you death. For time, Mademoiselle Marion. You have been of great help. Appeased. Okay, I got her. Got her. 
The customer who ordered the whiskey might provide us more information. He may have been the last one to see Betty alive. It is an interesting idea, Stings. Maybe he is a regular guest. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Mademoiselle? I don't think so. Our regular guests tend to order tea and cake. Even though we have all this alcohol At back this here. Of the year, there are a lot of tourists about you never see again. Is that right? That's what I thought. Time to visit Betty's home. Okay. You've mourned long enough. I have questions. Wait, is there anything else I can look at here? This is a well-laid table. Nothing is out of place, and above all, no creases. Damn, we know how much he hates creases. And also sand on his shoes. Poirot has all his priorities straight. And puddles. Oh, yeah, every time I wish there was a trophy, you're like, ugh, how careless. Another puddle. Oh, another puddle. Okay. Is it, are, are they down here? Is this? Hello? Oh, is it 22? Dang, they literally, they literally live right here. They're so close. Jeez. Tap, tap. How do you do, mademoiselle? My name is Hercule Poirot. I know you. You're that detective we hear all about. Megan, that's my I sister's name. I don't know if that is a compliment, but I will take it as one for now. For, yeah, for now. You are Betty's sister, I believe. Oh, are, oh yes. It's... My name is Megan. Can we come in? Please do. Yay, thank you. Oh, <sighs> My parents are at the police station. I doubt they'll be up to speaking to you later. Oh, you look like your makeup's run a little bit. Did you know your sister's plans for yesterday? Damn, all these ladies got some ass on them, though. I arrived by train this morning. My parents called me in a panic when they discovered that Betty had disappeared. She went out last night, but she didn't tell them where she was going. What was your last conversation about? Her new dress. She wanted a pair of black stockings to go with it. Mother brought her a pair the very day it happened. Oh. She was crying. And to think that Betty never even wore them. Poor mummy. Oh. Sorry about your stockings. Okay. Time to observe the morning sister. Do 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 do. Runny. I well. At the moment. I don't know if it's runny eye makeup or just. Shadows under the er bags under the eyes. Hard stare. Okay. Photo of Betty. Clenched hand. Tense hand. Hmm. What what's going on? older sister is not just sad. She's angry. Are you blaming it on the man? Do you think he's the one who did it? Is that why you angry? Ask if she had a fiance. Your sister had a fiance, I believe. Yes, he's called Donald Fraser. A very nice man. Oh. Uh, as if he had a quick temper. A hot headed man, by all accounts. You are quite wrong, Detective. Don is serious and reliable and has a good position at Court and Brunskill estate agent. I feel like you're saying that just because you're like, it would have been cool for us to marry into money. Okay, well, that was quick. Excuse me, I have to answer that. Okay, go ahead. But of course. God, you know what I love, Betty especially Moon about detective games? When it's a detective floor. game Feel where every line is voiced. <laughs> it really, like, I'm gonna tell you, that's the biggest thing that really, like, drains me playing freaking Phoenix Wright is having to say every line because they talk a lot in those games. That is what I'm trying to find out. So this is, this is nice. I like this. I did not say anything of the Yeah, story. it helps but so much. Always ruin your judgment, Plus, my French accent sucks. Knows, maybe Megan <laughs> so I'd rather somebody system. actually have a French accent. I see. She may have had her sights on the inheritance. <gasps> or maybe she was in love with Donald Fraser. Oh. We have to study all scenarios, even the most unlikely. 
But I doubt that Mr. and Mrs. Barnard are rich enough to justify murder. While well, I try and get Miss Barnard to talk, I would like you to try and find Donald Fraser. It should be easy to find the estate agents where he works. Bring him to the Ginger Cats. I would like to talk with him before the Chief Inspector finds him. Yeah! Bring him to the Ginger Cat! Yay! Time to question the husband. Well, uh, fiance. Where's her room? Is it up? To oh, piano! Am I gonna play it? Oh, please tell me he plays the piano. The Barnard ah, darn it! Make music a priority in their budget. Oh, there are. Yeah, there's a violin, worn furniture, and a piano. Okay. They're all Miss Modest, but the Barnards are definitely music lovers. Yeah. It's also like a bear. Over there, bear. <gasps> Mirror! Oh, give me the ego points. Every time you see a mirror, take a drink. We, you won't die, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Every time Poro waxes his mustache, take a shot. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, cancel that. I need to phonograph. Mm, phonograph. This gramophone is magnificent. Sorry, gramophone. It is a one-off, without a doubt. Hi, Zunder. What's up? Oh, that's the door. I don't want to go out the door. What's over here? <gasps> Horse! Family photos and fires. Mm. The sky. <laughs> so funny, Zunder. Go away. What is this? Radio show? Oh, singing? Did you do singing? Is a metronome? Like Betty was also a music lover. Huh. The same as Look at that. Family. That is a fancy 1935 microphone. Metronome. It's really funny how little, like, technology for sound has changed over the years. Though. Like, to doubt. Betty used to sing. Like, old-style microphone. Because all new microphones are built off the exact same technology. It's just, like smaller form factor or like slightly different materials hmm. a box of new stockings also rc said that her the coffee bag is too big but i feel like it's not big enough it looks like betty has a very busy life cinema impossible love what is that invitation for a dance the blue lobster menu of a stylish restaurant more coffee, she liked yeah. luxury and going out. And being as pretty as she was, she probably did not have any problem getting herself invited. Yeah, probably not. All right. Oh, can I look in the mirror? Oh my god, this, seriously, this is already, in the past 10 minutes, that would be like three shots. Give me the ego. God, he loves mirrors. Some of the autofile things still use- Yeah, exactly! Bothers me. Uh, ooh, maybe the thing sticking out the side? Strange. A sheet of paper is blocked in the clock. Can I press a button? Uh, that's a leg. This decoration appears to be firmly fastened. Um, I thought I was trying to hit... Oh, it's not a button. Um... Oh, 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 oh! <gasps> that's a strange mechanism. I don't think it serves to turn the hands. Whoops, I forgot that that's still not a... I need to change that so that's a real quote. Okay, move the hands. The cogs are blocked by these wooden panels. The cogs are blocked by but these I... wooden panels. Hmm. Mm hmm. What? Wait, what?
That let me move the one. Hmm. I need to change all these. Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm good with what I have. I mean, I know like Seinhauser and other things are like technically better quality, but I don't know. I really like what I have. I, I, Audio Technica is a good solid brand. Like, I don't lie. I'm not like a shill for stuff, but I've been using this for years. And, uh, well, I, I, I technically have the stick mic. I don't like this one because it's so heavy, but I mean, they, a lot of microphones, you know, regardless of price, tend to work about the same, you know? Fine, how do I... The cogs are blocked by these wood... Mm. The cogs are blocked by... Okay, but how do I unpanel it? I'm so confused. The cogs are blocked yeah, by... Yeah, I know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta unpan... Hmm. I'm not sure what, like, the clue is for this. Unless there's something, because... Uh, I can move this back and forth. The cogs are blocked by these... But... That doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe I need to look at a different side? This? This metal disc is stuck. Okay. Maybe I mess with the hands. Uh, I don't think I. Oh wait, well, oh, I can mess with the hands. There, that's better. What is that bet? Why is it midnight? Oh, did that mess with the? <gasps> wait, did it move any? I'm so good. Why is that better? How is that better? Strange. A sheet of paper. Okay, wait, can I, like, mess with the leg now? This decoration appears to be thumb. Okay. Do I just need to check all the legs? This decoration appears... This decoration oops, appears oops, to sorry. Be... Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> This decoration appears to be... Okay, it's not that... Man, when it comes to like the deduction part of the game, oh! Hmm, could this could be slightly loose? <gasps> Pull it off. Oh, whoa, 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 what? Oh, what did I just, what did I just pick up? Maybe I can peel this it off now. Disc is stuck. No, nope. okay, so that came off. Um, this wooden panel is blocked. I can't open it. Hmm. Wait, so I did I screw that back on? Is it on tight now? <laughs> What's happening? All of this is still the same. Have I tried? He doesn't have a hammer. Inter okay, I can't interact with this at all anymore. Um, use it to pry it off. Darn it. <laughs> I was, uh, wait, um, shove this it in. Panel is blocked. Sho shove it. Shove it in the hole. Strange. A sheet there. of paper is blocked. Put it there. No. Oh, something? Oh, what the? What? It's not like, because I can't change items. I am so confused by what the hell this game wants me to do. Stop by the wooden panels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like a wooden thing came off of this, this. Maybe I need to click where it was. This wooden panel is blocked. This wooden panel is blocked. Oh, um, blocked by what? Okay, so it's got little bits. Can I touch that? This decoration appears to be. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Wait, is one of the other decorations all weird looking then? This decoration Okay. How about that one? This decoration appears to be firmly fastened. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So we got Oh wait, is this is this one is it oh it's also messed up? Oh! Oh whoa. it should be possible to open the wooden Okay, door. it was just that one corner. Okay, I just okay, open. Oh a key. A key. Oh I bet I can put that in the middle of the shit. Oh. This could be useful. Yeah. Okay. And we go. Okay. The central cock is blocked. Yes. Um. But how do I? I'm like I. I don't. Uh. Okay. 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 Oh. Okay. Wait. But the wooden panels in the way. The cogs are blocked by these wooden panels. Oh, well, how do I get the wooden panels off? <laughs> I'm so I can't like I can't move any of these until I can move these with the stupid the wooden panels in the way. What the what do you want me to do, game? <laughs> oh, it just worked. Why? But why though? But why did it work? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I it worked. I know I need to make the cogs turn. I did it, but I don't know how, and that's somehow worse than. <laughs> oh. Okay. Um. But how do I move these ones? Will that key fit in there? I feel like it only fits in the. Yeah, it doesn't fit in the other one. Um. Or maybe it'll move anyway. Okay. Uh, Something clicked on the front of the clock. Okay, so that's okay. So that pulled that, and now this is down, and now I can put the key in there. And I, God, this is making me feel dumber than Layton. Ah, it's open. Now I can get the thing that's wedged. <gasps> the letter. I'll take it. This could be useful. Yeah, it could be. Why are you in my sister's clock? Betty, I enjoy a wonderful evening in your company, and I hope that we Well, I know that, but I was I was soon. just in case. Betty. We have to try. My dearest Betty, I know that your art is already spoken for, but you are the most beautiful dancer oh. I have ever had the pleasure of meeting, and I am <laughs> happy to see you again, Adrian. Uh-oh. Okay, so we got the thing. Let's go. Yeah, just think, guys. In a little while, we'll be able to play the Thousand Year Door again, and it'll be it'll be great. She took out. Betty must have had a problem deciding what to wear. Maybe she had a date. Maybe. Okay. Um. Oh, can I? Oh, I still have to examine more of the bedroom. Suspect. He works in an estate in an estate agents. He is Betty Bar Bernard's fiance. He works in an estate agents. Does that makes am I dumb? What is it? Is it maybe that's just a thing. That was a thing before. That feels wrong. It feels it just feels wrong. Realtor? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, estate agent. This small key should be useful to me. 
Well, it's just agents had a apostrophe, so it, it was like agents, Est like estate agents, yes. But I feel like there might have been a slight grammatical error. Have I played the new Mario? Not yet. I want to get it, I've finished with this but agenda. um, I've heard from many people that it is very, very faithful to the original. So I'm like, I know it's going to be very good then. But soon. I guess you're not a native. So no, it just it felt grammatically wrong. Wait, I finished with this subject. What do you mean you finished? Well, what is what? Else? Oh, medicine the to prevent voice medicine. Loss. Did Betty have problems with our voice? Well, maybe she just sang a lot. Estate agency would have been better grammatic. Yeah, just it's estate agents. I was like, but I don't know. That seems because it's possessive. Finished inspecting. Well, you've seen it. Paper. Yeah. Wait, I'm not done. What what else is there? I already looked at myself in the mirror. I checked out her sweet setup. Um, she's an e-girl. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I checked out that. I looked at the clothes on the. I looked at that. I looked at that. Hmm. A box. Oh no, I didn't look at her stockings. Is that it? We done? Looking at all the clothes she took out, Betty must have had a. No, no, he's actually French. There. That that was that was the whole thing. Is. Poirot is very French. Which is why a lot of times people, like, because he does a lot of stuff in Scotland Yard. He works with, like, the British police, and they'll, like, that first lady kind of was like, oh, a foreigner. And I'm just like, geez, calm down. But then she was like, oh, it's okay. At least you're not fucking German. Betty used to sing. Working at an estate agent's is technically British slang, as you might speak it. Oh, okay. That makes sense then. I was just like, huh, that's weird. What the hell else do you want me to look at? Bro, I looked at that. I looked at that. I look okay, I guess I, let me use my eyeball. Yeah. Oh, that, on the wall. Oh, he's Belgian? He's Belgian, not French. Okay. The point he has to make repeatedly. Well, I already fucked it up. But he just does, he does have a very heavy accent. Womp, womp. Hi, I'm gonna use your gramophone. Thinking, oh my God, do I actually have to, is this another puzzle? Just put the record. You don't have the record. Why don't you have the record? Oh, it's locked. Wait, did I have a key? Oh, this is a key? Let's oh. see. What is this cupboard hiding? When did I get... I don't even remember when I got that key. Ah, oh, record. <gasps> Betty. 78T. What is it? What the hell? Okay. Full rest. Half rest. Rest. Single. Or quarter. Eighth. Six. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Eighth. Sixteenth. Thirty-eighth. Oh, Jesus. I haven't had to sight read in a while. Oh, my God. Four, two plus two, one plus one plus one. Oh, is it going to... I don't math. I can't this do... Like solfege. I don't know what that means, bro. But I also... What? <laughs> do I have to remember this? I don't want to. Oh, I didn't come here to math. I just wanted to solve a mystery. Gosh, just... That doesn't work. I must have forgotten a step. What do you mean you forgot a step? Oh, look at the shit, bro. Where's, oh, there's more. How many drawers are in this? A crank. What's in here? Oh, no. Okay. There's bound to be a clue somewhere. Oh, no. I don't want to. Oh, these are all hats. No hats. Oh, I have to. Wait, okay. So that's going to make a rest. Whoa! That's a that's too many things. Trying to make friends, people try understand Quebec. Ah, uh, true. Um. Whoop. Okay. Um. That one one plus one plus two. Okay, let me take another crack at that sheet because I'm well, I'm confused as hell. Okay, so you're saying 
Okay. Okay, four, four. Yeah. Two plus two. Yeah. So that's four. Okay, so that's four. That's two. One plus one plus one plus one. Four, two. What? <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, 32. Yeah, I don't. Oh, God. Why? What? <laughs> this looks like solfege. There is probably. A I know, but I my, the there's too much garbage going on, and I. Oh, God. Okay. Um. So that's, that's one plus one plus one. So if that's one, the, but then how would any of those pluses make a. Da 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 da. Uh, well, then that would be. Those would all be ones. So are they just all ones? They're just sixteen. <laughs> what? Are we trying to say? Oh, because sixteenth, thirty second, because the one is on top. Guys, my hair. I need to use a clue. You get stuck. Open the pause menu. It's like use a clue to turn on automatic help. Oh, okay. It'll need to be recharged. There is bound to be a clue somewhere. That, 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 is that. Okay, so that's. You don't help with math. I can't. I like. I don't. I have no. <laughs> okay. Maybe. Maybe that's right. And I just need to crank it. Crank that soldier boy. Where's the crank go? In the front? The side? Doesn't it go in the side? Oh, I have to get closer to shove it, it looks in. Looks like something goes in here. It's the crank, bro. You know how these work. Crank. Okay. Then, uh, put. That doesn't work. I must have I, forgotten a <laughs> step. I'm so, I don't know, bro, this is 1935. This is way before I was born. I don't know what you're trying to, what you want me to do. Okay, put the that on that. That doesn't work. What do you I mean you forgot a step? step? What is it, what? Oh, do I have to move this up? Uh, uh. Uh, that press. doesn't work. I must have forgotten a step. <laughs> Make the needle go not. Make it go up. Make the needle up. What? Am, what? Okay. Okay. Check the front. It looks like there's something on the front. Oh, front. No side. Fucking goddamn it, Poirot. Uh, crap. Nope. Nope. That leads to there again. Um. Maybe I need like, um, I need something. I guess whatever's in that drawer is probably what lets me open the thing. But that's a rest. Wait, is there more underneath? What the hell is this? I cannot open it. It ah! Like it. <laughs> Who the hell has a weird fucking gramophone puzzle in their house? Betty, what are you doing? Okay, four four. That yeah, and that's a full four rest, and that's a two two. One. So this would technically be yeah. So it would be like a quarter? Or just half? Half? That's four. Eight. Because it goes up, but it means like one eighth, not. Yeah, because it's one, two, four, but Jaren. So it told me I need a sixteenth in there. But why? 
So would it be like 16, 16, 8? Yeah, I just, uh, come on, man. Don't make me do this. Math? Did I math? How do you? <laughs> just let me math, bro. I, okay, I, I did do it. Okay, so you had to do two sixteenths because that'll make a eighth and then you had, I don't fucking know. I did it though. I think I figured it out in my head, but also what the fuck is this? Why is there more? <laughs> <laughs> Why? And it's all, it's numbers and uh, an A. Okay, and... Uh, <laughs> Wait. 79. I, rem I, I remember the 79 from something. Is it 79D? I swear I saw a 79 on something. Like it was the record, wasn't it? Observe. Observe the record. 78T, not 79. Sorry. Okay, see that? My gray cells are working. They're working. 78T. Oh, oh God, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the T is so far. <sighs> oh, wait, can I just keep going? I can just keep going. I'm just dumb. To put the record on the gramophone and start it. You know, in my day, all you had to do to play a gramophone was just put it on the damn thing. You didn't have to solve Betty's puzzle. That doesn't work. What do you mean? I've forgotten a step. Do I press the? Does this make it up? That doesn't work. What do you mean? It doesn't work. Forgotten a step. Uh, uh, but how? But I can't. I can't lift the needle. I did all the things, right? But the needle won't. The needle. Just uh, use it on. I don't. I don't know, bro. <laughs> what? That doesn't work. I must have forgotten a step. What do you mean I forgot a step? Oh wait, does this? No, that just that doesn't. That didn't do. That did shit. That did nothing. What? <laughs> what? Oh, oh god, no! I don't want to look at it anymore. Okay. Um. First, you have to look inside. The gramophone. Wait, oh, whoa, 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 wait, when did that open up? Oh, that switches and moves it up. So you can put the record. <laughs> I can't. There's, this is, if this is only the second thing, this is gonna be ridiculous. Okay, click. Click. Recording. Sorry, Betty, but it's not wise. The doctor said you should rest your voice. You're such a killjoy sometimes. But your voice. He sounds like he's. Betty was such a good singer. It's true. Did she have any problem with her thought? Yes, she had to be careful with her voice. Of course, she didn't follow the doctor's advice. If Don didn't insist, she. Well, it's too late for all that now. Uh, yeah, well, it's too late now. Oh, it's so sad that they were worried about her voice and her throat, and she died by getting fucking strangled. Excuse me? Is there something on your face? It looks like this woman is single. 
but she has feelings for someone. Like Donald? Hmm, the picture. Picture of Donald? Betty and Donald. Hard stare. Oh, oh, it, it, it ain't right to steal your sister's lover. What? No wedding ring. Hmm. It looked like there was something up with her cheek, but it might have just been the angle. Intensely at this photo. But is it no, she's she's ready to to jump on an opportunity. She did say that guy had like a, a good household and everything. Yeah, doesn't it look like her cheek is kind of like marred a little? Okay, yeah, it was just a graphical thing. She was pretty and he well well bright man. With a promising career ahead of him. Uh -huh. He would have made Betty a good husband. He was always attentive and generous. Oh, a true gentleman. I hear a note of envy in your voice. You must have heard wrong. Oh. Uh ask Donald uh, so, Um You have not mentioned Donald's jealousy. There's nothing to say. What do you mean? Ask her to cooperate. I am not your enemy, Mademoiselle Bernard. And you are not my friend either, Mr. Poirot, sir. Jeez, okay. Yes, but your lies are not helping Mr. Fraser, or you for that matter. Um, inform her the case is complete. Or, yeah, why are you protecting? I know that Fraser was jealous. But I wonder why you feel the need to protect him. Protect him? I hope you're not suggesting... That you are Fraser's accomplice? There is nothing to suggest that, at least not yet. It would appear that your sister's murder is the second in a series that we have to stop as quickly as possible. Yeah. The first was in Andover, and the same as your sister, the murderer sent me a letter informing me that a crime would be committed in that town. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. Can I count on your honesty? Yes, you have my confidence, Mr. Poirot. Good. Don is a quiet and sensitive young man. Slightly reserved, too. And as is often the case with reserved people, when he flew into a temper, he completely lost control. Oh? He could be so violent. Betty was frightened. Mm-hmm. And when was this? The first time was about a year ago. But they rowed more recently. Donald found out that Betty had lied to him. Ooh. She said she was going out with a girlfriend, but she went out for dinner with a married man. Uh-oh. It was an awful scene. She told him that until they were married, oh. she was free to go with whoever she pleased. E Donald turned quite pale <laughs> and started shaking and kept saying one day, one day, well, well. he'd commit murder. Oh. Ask if she fears. Yeah. So you were afraid that he would become our main suspect. I know that Fraser was jealous, but I wonder why you feel the need to protect him. Because I exactly. love him. Had you not told me about the case, I would never have dared to tell you about this little matter. Uh huh. Loved Betty with all his heart. But. I can't imagine for one instant oh. that he would okay. hurt her. Very good, Mademoiselle Barnard. Thank you for your help. Fraser is at the Ginger Cat. The police haven't spoken to him, but they want to. Très bien, Hastings. Let's see him now. Yay. Au revoir, mademoiselle. My deepest condolences to your parents. And good luck. <laughs> of course, Mr. Poirot. And don't be too hard on Don. He's more fragile than he looks. I'm waiting for him to be like the biggest so. man I've seen in my life. He's like seven foot tall. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Okay, gray cells. Do, 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 do. What had Betty planned to do with her evening? Um, not die. Betty was seeing other men as well as Donald. because Betty died to Donald because she had a date with another man. I don't know. If you're somebody's fiance, I feel like... That's fairly binding, so I feel like Betty was definitely in the wrong for that. I, 
I mean, everybody has different sensibilities about things, and there's different boundaries that you can draw, but... Fiance is- that's a pretty serious step. <laughs> like, to be like, well, until we're married, whatever. Seems a little harsh. Did Betty know her assailant? No. Probably not. Oh, no. She needs to go out. Oh. Probably- uh, man just seduced Betty before taking her to the beach where he strangled her. Okay. I guess- yeah, I guess that makes sense. I thought it would have been with the other ones, it like the stranger thing. Get how Brent sells to work. Okay, what do we got? What now? What is Megan Bernard's behavior hiding? That she's in love, um... ...with him. Boom! Megan has a soft spot for Donald. <laughs> Next, did Megan Barnard have a motive for killing her sister? Um... No, oh, she. Oh, never mind. She didn't tell it. No. Oh, Megan was jealous of. But yeah, but she wouldn't kill her. And I, I don't think she'd go that far. Oh wait, do I still have more? Did Donald have a motive for Betty's murder? I think I'm missing evidence. Yep. Oh. Um. Oh wait. No. I probably gotta wait on that. Well, I'll worry about that later. Dude, let's go talk to fiance man. Do 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 do. Off we go. You seen Fraser listings? What is your feeling? He's a big chap. Fragile isn't exactly the word that springs to mind. I want to see. I want to see this guy. I talked to his landlady before seeing him. She went to bed at 11. Fraser wasn't <gasps> home yet. Wasn't home yet? Yeah. Ooh. Megan Barnard said he is a reserved character, but with a nasty temper. We will see if this is the case. Yeah. To the ginger cat. Do, 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 do. I don't think I don't think he would have murdered Betty. I think he would have murdered whoever she was hanging out with. Well, it's definitely the ginger cat. Oh gosh. Hup! Newspaper kiosk. The Capola. The beach. Definitely the same. Good little this gray is cells. Where the photo I found in the hut was taken. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Wait, one. Oh, one clue available. Wait, so do I have all of the things now? No, no, I don't. Oh, yeah, Donald had a motive for killing Betty. Jealousy. But don't kill the woman. Not her fault. Does Donald have an alibi? Not yet. We'll have to wait on that. I have to get the answers from the man himself. Okay, um... I would like him to stand up. He already looks kind of tall because he's hunched over, but he's still, like, almost as tall as I am. Please stand up. How do you do, Mr. Fraser? You heard Kill Poirot? Mr. Hastings said you wanted to speak to me. Yes. I know that it may not be at the right time, but I would like to ask you a few questions. Oh, well, then why did you not ask him the questions? I'm gonna take a look at him. This man looks suspicious. Oh. 
He drinking. Just a second. He furrowed brow, dark circles, alcohol. White horse whiskey. Oh, what am I? What am I looking at? Crumpled clothes. Are they? I mean, I guess at least they're less dirty than the dude who got the Fraser crap eaten out of him. Terrible state. As if he hadn't slept all night. And he's drinking white horse. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Is that bad? Leave me alone. I can't leave you alone. Now I want to look that up. White horse whiskey. Does that still exist? Tell me that it's a mistake. That Betty isn't dead. Sadly, your lady friend has been murdered, Mr. Fraser. Oh, Betty, if only you'd listened. Holy shit. White horse scotch whiskey was first introduced in Edinburgh in 1861. It's a blended whiskey as opposed to the single malt style. It's particularly noted for its use of Lagavulin. Oh, it's a it's distillery. Oh, it was apparently um, was provided to it, people during the war. I mean, alcohol was like a staple during the wars, strangely enough. 40% alcohol by volume. Damn, that is pretty strong. Um, wow. White Horse is featured in Maiko Kawakami's Breast and Eggs, a novel. 2020. All you can drink special at a bar in Tokyo. It, um, uh, I don't because he said it like it sounded like derogatory, but uh, the character side center. OK, I don't know. Like It, it, it sounded kind of like it was one of those like Ugh, white horse, but maybe it's just because it's a hard liquor and he's like, this guy's hitting this shit kind of hard. Yeah, Edinburgh. That's that's what it is, right? Or it's not. Yeah, White Horse Distillery. 1861. Oh, is it Eden? Is it Edinburgh? What? What? <laughs> what? Or did as she please? Okay. Did you see her did yesterday? You Betty yesterday afternoon? No, I haven't seen Betty for two days. Edinburgh? How the hell am I supposed to get that out of bed? That? Of course. But why this question? Fuck you. <laughs> don't Maybe yell at me. Evening, I don't live you? there. <laughs> uh, ask him if he likes white horse. A guest came to the ginger cat alone and ordered a white horse whiskey. And by the look of it, you also appear to be fond of this brand. Yes, it's a good whiskey and not cheap. Yeah, Edinburgh, that's your accent. I don't have that accent. Oh, yeah, Burrow, but Burrow is like... I understand. <laughs> that's usually a bad thing. Yesterday evening? She said she was having dinner with her sister. Uh, specify that her sister was in London. Yet, Megan only returned to Bexhill this morning, Mr. Fraser. I didn't know. <gasps> I didn't know, right. did you? May I ask you what you were doing yesterday evening? I spent the evening working. Your colleagues... Hey, you guys are like, hey, no. sound no, things out the way they're spelled, me. and they're like, you're like, no, actually, it's completely different from the way it's spelled. Fuck English. Doesn't have an alibi. Accuse him of lying just like Betty. Therefore, you have no alibi, Mr. Fraser. That's right. But that doesn't make me a <laughs> It wasn't you. Mr. Uh, well, fuck the Scots. Now, please. <laughs> Don't take that out of context. <laughs> Dang. Always with the ah, words. Here, I thought the victim's young man was here. Yes, he's all yours, Chief Inspector. I'm done with him. Let us now try and get our brand cells to work. Okay. Did he have a motive? Does he have an alibi? He does not have an alibi. Donald may have been at the beach and have killed Betty. Oh, that's not good. Does he have a motive? Um. Oh, no, he doesn't. 
Donald may have killed Betty, but he does not have a motive for Miss Asher's motive. Yeah, murder. Exactly. Return to the crime scene. I think we're about to blow this case wide open. Maybe. Fraser doesn't have an alibi and he's extremely jealous. You are very skilled at summing up. And yet you haven't asked Jap to arrest him. It is too soon. But I agree, without the letters announcing the crimes, Fraser would already be behind bars. Was it a bad dragon, Seer? Let's reconstruct the events at the scene of the <laughs> That sounds like the type of thing that would describe one of those. I can't imagine how the murderer wasn't seen, though. Surely she must have struggled. Let us try and imagine the scene. Okay. Oh, we're, we're, we're putting the scene back together. We're almost done. It's two photos. Oh, you got the thing. That was quick. Dang, I sent that like two days ago. The killer and the victim the three days ago. The beach. Miss Betty has a bag, a belt around the waist, and You're carries welcome. her shoes in a hand. <gasps> She's holding her shoes in her hand like a lady. Walk slowly to a number five. Uh, advance, cause, um, she's not at hut number five. She's in hut number six. To hut number six. Hut number six. Change. Miss Betty enters the hut. Why is the screw all messed she up? Leaves without her belongings. Then she hides a coat. Why did she not, the not, did she did that? Why would you do that, Betty? Covered in glitter. Makes me ha I'm glad. I thought you might remove the belts. Or no, uh, advance a, l a little more. They keep walking. Then she removes a belt. <gasps> and then the murderer moves behind her and then attacks her by surprise. Yeah, because she didn't show any sign of struggle. Okay, I think that's correct. He didn't take it off of her. She did it. Herself. Everything appears to match the crime scene. Yeah, I did it first try. Perfect. Okay, well, that's good. That means that Kit should get his soon, and hopefully, all the international folks get theirs kind of quick, too. Because I sent three around here. Without the ABC, we might have suspected Mr. Asher. And, and then Mr. like four Fraser. international. But by signing his crime, I can't even remember. Making sure he's accused. In a way, it is very generous of him. We'll see. Sometimes generous? it's. It, I think the last time I sent something to Arcee, it took like to less than a week, and it was weird. Indeed, the young woman was certainly careless, but not stupid enough to. But then the when uh, Cat sent something what to Arcee, it took to like two her? months. Down to London, even though it's way closer than here. It, it really depends on how they're feeling, I feel. Okay, um... Go back to London. Oh, we're going back to London. We figured it out. The ABC killer! He strangulated this girl! Next, it's gonna be a sea lady. I wonder where they'll go next. What kind of... What places start with C, RC, in... In this... In the... In, in your area. Um... Whether or not you get it before the New Year's, yeah, well, I think it'll happen. Like we're saying, not be able to write anymore. It's finally back to working order. Well, that's good. Right, back to London. There is nothing more for us to do here. I'm coming, Quarren. Yeah. According to the guide, the next train departs shortly. Off we go. I guess I gotta talk to Cabby Man. Right, back to London. There is nothing more for us to do here. I don't even know. I, I'm trying to think. I don't know any places that start with a C. <laughs> but I also don't know a lot of towns in... Cunning? Like a cunning linguist? Now decided to reveal details <laughs> to the press. The alphabet murder is now famous. It is not a bad idea. You should keep the window button the deactivated. People Cheshire? Know. Maybe. The greater our chances of finding out something of interest. Poirot, I have a bad feeling. What are you talking about? Why would you ever have a bad feeling about mail? Window? Yeah. What do we got? Poor Mr. Poirot, not so good at these little criminal matters as you thought yourself, are you? Rather past your problem, Churston. Huh. Let us see if you can do any better this time. This time, it's an easy one. 
Churston on the 30th. Do try and do something about it. It's a bit dull having it all my own way, you know. Good hunting. Oh, oh Have no, I gotcha, ABC. yeah. Sometimes I use the Windows key a lot because I'll take screenshots and it's like Good hunting. control Windows key or tomorrow? shift Windows key S. But yeah, I don't like hitting the Windows key too much. He will strike on 30th in Churston. We must warn Scotland Yard. We must warn Scotland Yard. Um, specify that it is the 30th today. No time to lose. We must prepare our suitcases for Churston. Mon Dieu, it is already 10 o'clock. I will call Scotland Yard immediately. Dun, dun, dun. I gotta use my phone. Phone, 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 phone. Phone, 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 phone. phone. Use phone. Hello, Jap. We received a new letter from ABC in the 10 o'clock post. Where and when? In Cheston. Today. Today? I'll inform the population immediately. I'll check the train times. Call me back. Kachunk. To Churston! Yeah, that might be it, Arce, because you have said that your keyboard layout has changed a few times. Okay, so what now? Uh, oh, he's packing. He's already... Okay, packy time. Hastings, what you are doing is an absolute disaster. <laughs> oh my god, please tell me there's a pack the puzzle, the, the suitcase puzzle. We have to get to Churston before the murder. Oh. Point out that order is essential. These things, order and method are always necessary, regardless of the circumstances. Okay, okay. I'll let you pack them. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, I figure that's probably something that he would. Oh my god! It really is a disgrace to leave your belongings in such a mess. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is pretty bad, bro. Come on. You hear it Oh no, I gotcha. Barely folded pajamas? What? Oh, badly closed toothpaste? Unprotected bottles? This man is a slob. Odd oh, sucks. <sighs> Kill him. What is? What do you want me to look at? Bath towel. That's a towel. I can't even tell. Just put it all together. Fix it. Voila. It only took a minute. Wow. That's a lot of space in there. It's all gonna, yeah. Poirot, you were right. Welcome on in. I've just consulted the ABC guide. Oh, There's God. no hurry. The next train doesn't leave till 11.45. You see, there is no need to hurry. We will not be in Cheston until tomorrow morning. After the murder. But why has the murderer warned us so late? It's not what he usually does. Did he do it on purpose? Probably. Very good question, Hastings. We should also compare the letter we have just received with the other two. Although I have very little doubt about what we will find. Uh, no. Compare the new letter with the other letters. Okay. Um, back to my desk. Do, 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 Where was the cleffa? To the desk. This is not a good time. What do you mean it's not a good time? This is where I do the, the letters all the time. time. What do you mean it's not a good time? Do I just look at it? Observe. Third letter. Oh, Mr. Poirot. Not so good at the I is still wrong. You you the W is it? still messed up. The A is still wrong. Time, perhaps? Let us see if you can do any better this time. <sighs> this time it is an easy one. Chest on on the 30s. Do try and do something. Yeah, 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 ABC. Um. Okay, so since I've looked at it, do I go to my desk now? It is not a good time. Wait, it's not a good time. That's exactly the the, the, the the letter. This is that's what I did the last time, and it worked. Do I go talk to the book? Bra, bra, bra. Compare the new letter from the other. Okay. Okay. Anyway, let's keep going. This one. Is it this then? Is it? Is it in here? No, that's Hastings hunting. Hastings what? photo album. He is very proud of his bag. Wow, look at him. Oh, he shot a tiger? Oh, he's one of those. 
He's one of those. Okay, where the hell are the letters then? If they're not on my desk... Bro, are you holding them? Well, I mean, it is a pleasure to be working with you again. I have missed you this past few years. Um... Th th thanks, I guess. Where the- what the- Some- sometimes this game does some kind of weird stuff. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. Oh! The chair! That I can't reach normally. Yeah, well... Wait, what? That- I just- all I did was sit down! It is not a good time. What do you mean it's not a good time? You wanted me to do the letters! Is that all I do is I just sit in the chair and I sigh? That's all I do! The letters are on your desk, sir. It is not a good. What? Time. Oh, I. You know what? I have to. I bet I have to use the letter on the desk. No. What? Why? Use it. Chair. What? <laughs> what do you want me to do, game? What? What? It is not a good time. Ah! What do you mean it's not a good time? Just use the letter! <laughs> it's this awful! Why won't you use it? Where? Where is it? Do I show it to Hastings? Hey, Hastings, look at the letter! Help me! <laughs> the game isn't doing a very good job! Oh. Yeah, I- well, I'm trying to figure this shit out. Oh my god. Wait, there's a newspaper. Right. What is the newspaper? Like. What the fuck? What do you do you use it? Why? No! What then? Where? <laughs> this is so annoying. It's like. It, it, all the objective says is compare the new letter with the other letter. But the last time I did it, it was on the desk. Like, that's. Cut me some slack. Oh, wait, maybe I have to read the daily flicker the first. July 30, 1935. ABC affair, no progress. The alphabet murderer is still on the run. Ever since the police found the connection between the Bexil and Endover affairs, the inquiry has barely progressed. In this issue, we are publishing provocative letters sent by the killer to Hercule Poirot. Unfortunately, they have not yet helped to find him. You know what the worst part about this is? This person joined February 2023. I'm sorry, there there was somebody who joined at the very beginning of stream, and they were like, Hi, follow me on Twitter, I follow you. Even their profile picture looks like it was probably made with AI art, and I'm just like, ah, come on. Daily Flicker, July the 26th, 1935. The Bexil horror. Like, no, I don't... Young mate strangled I'm not gonna... I've, yeah. If I have no ass. reason to follow you on Twitter, other than you asking for me to follow you on Twitter, I'm not gonna follow you on Twitter. Sorry, it's not how that works. It is not a good time. Wait, it's not a good time! This is the best time to look at shit on your desk, you... Fucking man! It is not a good time. Just do it! <laughs> I... Was, I, uh, I don't want to have to look this up. But it's feeling like I'm gonna have to look this up because this man will not compare the letters. <laughs> eh. To watch tomorrow once you're back from the dentist. I usually start at 2 p.m. my time. Um, I'm in Central Time, in America. Um, I love sometimes I slightly earlier. Story. I've not used it in a very long time. That's cool. Like, I'm I'm so lost. What the hell is going on? But yeah, it's usually 2 p.m. 15 Eastern. I believe... Yeah, because I think that's one hour ahead. I'm, like, guys... I'm, did I softlock this game? Like, seriously, t talk to him. Poirot, since my return, I see that you have fewer grayer hairs than when I last saw you. How is that possible? Wait, what's on the ground? Mon ami, I am sure that you will find the explanation all on your own. It's called dyeing my hair. W was this here the whole time? <sighs> Miss Haste, Hastings tore the envelope. Oh my god, he tore it? I can't believe it. New object, piece of- Oh, 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 do I have to- 
Observe envelope? White Horse Mansions? Is it a mistake? I don't know, man. Is it? N oh. Okay. Not known at White Horse Mansions and White Horse Court. Try White Haven Mansion. Okay, well, there's that. Okay, so they, they screwed up. Maybe now that I have the pieces of the letter, I can sit at my desk. 12 or 30, you should be back. Okay, yeah. I mean, I'll be streaming for a while, I'm sure, especially if I'm doing more Skyward Sword. Okay, so I had to pick the stuff off the ground that I didn't notice was there. It's the, oh. examine this more closely. What do you mean more closely? It's the eyes, man. It's the eyes. I know. I know it's the eyes. Certain characters in the two letters. Yeah, the eyes. We already did. Effects. Okay. Yeah. I'll probably... Well, actually, yes, you know what? I've been... I haven't... Weird. I think I haven't been complaining too much yes. about Skyward Sword, other than I just always talk shit about Fee, but it's... I mean, that's kind of a... That's that's kind of easy to do. To find some other similar but, um... It probably helps that I've been through it a few times. And I can I can appreciate the good. Mm, the W is not printed properly. Like I think if it was for the fact that the controls weren't like nothing to dog shit. Characters. No, no, no I oh. Oh. I would course, probably uh, I would probably rate it, it upon like one of my defects. top like Zelda games. But it's just there's like there's just a lot that kind of brings it down. It, it's still a good game in its own right, but it just um. I don't know. Tristan on the oh yeah, the A's again. Definitely yes, the same the person. A appears to be quite unusual. But yeah. That's right. The A characters in the two letters do indeed have the same defects. My theory was right. Oh. These two letters were written with the same typewriter. Yeah, there would definitely be lots of Zelda happening. Let us now try and get our brain cells to work. Yeah. Well, whatever. I'll check that out later. Sorry, I was I was trying to do some detective work on my own on this side, but I can't with this chat. What? Why did the murderer warn us so late? Letter C was sent at the right date. Wrong address. The letter arrived late because of an error in the address. Yeah. The letter should have arrived in time. The postmark shows that it was sent three days ago. However, our man made a mistake in the address, which explains the delay. Dun, dun, dun. the same, the post office took their time correcting the error. Come on, Poirot. Your address is not quite as well known as that of Scotland Yard. Well, is, shut up. I'm still cool. Oh, answer the, the telephone. telephone. It must be Jap. Okay, well, I, I did tell him to call me right back, and this is the perfect time when I'm done deducing for him to call me back. Da -da -da -da. I have some news from Churchton. Bad news, I'm afraid. Sir Carmichael Clark. Whoa, that's a lot of C's. Walk. No, not Mr. Clark. Sir Carmichael Clark. The name is familiar to me. He was a famous throat specialist, one of the best in London. A wealthy man. He retired to Combeside, a beautiful house by the sea. He collected antiques. Are you going there? <clears throat> yes, let's meet on the train. Train time. With my good friend, Jap the man. Whoa, whoa, that's way over there. Damn. Oh, hey, this is reminiscent of the first game with the big opulent garden in that house. Yeah, I have double gear. I don't know what that means. <laughs> they got in the book. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Oh, boy, that's the most violent one the yet. The is called Sir Carmichael Clark, one of the best throat specialists in London. 
And the yet... The was still warm when we found it. Whoa. If we'd been warned earlier, we definitely could have saved him. Oh, that sucks. It appears that the murderer made a mistake when he wrote his letter. Maybe on purpose. Lucky for him. Wow. And what if he did it on purpose? Yeah, exactly. No, no. He's defined his madcap rules and he's sticking to them. It's a matter of pride for him. Hmm. Shall we go up to the house, Poro? You go, my friends. I will come soon. I'm going to check out this dead body. Okay, so it's technically the uh, Marshall mustache. Thanks, I guess. So yeah, we are up to chapter three now, which means I'm going to end this recording of chapter two. Yeah, dang. Two young lady, well, an older lady, then a young lady, and now an older man in the most violent death yet. Darn you, ABC murder man. When, when will we find him? Because I'm not sure. I thought maybe after C, but I feel like there's got to be a little bit more to this game. Otherwise, this is an incredibly short game. We'll see.